Alia J here. Welcome to Chill and Do Art. So today, you are going to learn how to make one of these really cute, in my opinion, shrinky dink bookmarks. So to make these, you're going to need a couple things. Firstly, shrink paper, some pencil crayons if you're choosing in colors that you like, a permanent marker, a pencil, scissors, hole punch, here I've got embroidery thread, but you can also use wool or anything of a similar texture and thickness. We've got two different types of beads on the table here, and that's because I think they look great in combination with. Just be aware of the weight <laughs> of those. I've got a nail file that I'll be using, and also parchment paper, and a tray that I am not carrying and a toaster oven or a regular oven. So with that, let's get started. So now that you know exactly what you need to do this craft, we're going to start. Please remember, this is crafting, this is fun, we're going to breathe and we're going to enjoy. So for the sake of this video, I am using three by three inch squares of shrink paper and that's because it shrinks to around one third of its size so once this shrinks it's just going to be inch by inch by inch by inch roughly so i'm using crystal clear shrink paper however it does come in frosted but i like the option so when i am using clear shrink paper i just take something like a nail file and sand it so I sand it straight one way. Now, this is to just add a little bit of grit. And then this way, you can actually use whatever type of pencil crayons you want. Please do not use the best of your pencil crayons. It's no fun, it kind of, grates them down a bit, so probably use something that's been there a while, the older stuff. You're now going to pick your colors. I like going in with the blues, and I like blue, and yes, but around this in the middle. So, now that you're sanded, you're going to punch a hole in here. So it can either be in a corner if you want it to hang this way, if you want it to hang this way, you punch a hole here. So I'm probably going to do this on a bit of a diagonal and I'm usually just going to hole punch in the corner like so. Awesome. So once you've done this piece, again we're going to keep it in this kind of diamond shape. I'm then going to go in with the darkest color around the outside. And it'll still come out just as nice. It's going to be just as vibrant. But again, this one kind of eats your pencil crayons. And then as you're going farther in with color, you're going to go to this medium shade. Like so. You're going to pick the lightest, brightest color and have that going in into the middle. So at this point, you're gonna take out your Sharpie, your permanent marker. You're gonna write whatever you would like, if it's someone's name, if it's a message. So for the sake of the video, we're gonna say chill and do art. <laughs> to be do some designs, just around the corner, some really simple stuff actually, that really make this little piece pop, especially if it is as a gift. Awesome, now you're ready to bake. So now that you're done coloring, you are gonna get ready to bake your Shrinky Dinks. They are going to bake around 350 degrees in your oven or toaster oven and they're going to be in there for anywhere from two and a half to three minutes depending on the size. 
Keep in mind that they do curl at a point when they are baking, so give them some time to flatten out and they definitely will. Also, there is a cooling time, so give that maybe a minute or two before you really start trying to handle them again. So now that they are baked and ready, here they are, or here mine are. As you see, they are again average inch around, quite happy with them. Now we're gonna get to weaving and knotting and all that great stuff to make your bookmark. So I have chosen a blue thread here. And so there isn't an exact measurement. However, I like to give myself maybe an arm's length and then go from there. Now we're gonna weave it through And you're gonna to try to make sure that they're even. Then we're gonna make our first knot. Wrap it around the finger. Now, at this starting point, I actually like to make two knots. And that way, the bead just doesn't get a little bit lost as you stack them. Now we are going to add, I like adding small bead, larger bead, and then a smaller one. And I figured that weight works out best. So we've got that one there, and then we're going to make another knot. Now I've got the larger bead options over here from the pack that I showed you before. So I'm going to stick with this blue theme. Now for this piece, it's not difficult, but it does look quite cute. We're going to weave it all the way through, let it slide down. Then we're going to take these two pieces apart like so. We're going to move the bead up slightly, so just slide it up and we're going to make a loop and loop that all the way through. So I'll let you see what that looks like right now. We just weaved it back and then we're going to do a little bit of a pull. Not all the way yet. And then we're going to do the same thing on the other side. So again, we're going to find that edge. We're going to weave it through this bead like that. So it ends up looking like that and what you can do, so you can see there are two pieces there. I'm just going to take those apart. And then we're going to slip on another metal bead. Now, sometimes your edges fray. That is a thing. We just want to twist in the same direction. And that way it's a lot easier to get your bead in there. So again, just trying to make it act like one piece. And add another knot just to secure that. If you add an extra weighted bead, you can actually have them sit in the book while you're reading instead of having to pull your bookmark out over and over again. So that is actually a really nice touch. I'm just going to weave an extra bead in here. And we're just going to tie a knot around the bead so it's stuck in there. Now that we know it's nice and tight, we're going to cut right there. Make sure we're good to go. And there you have it. So 
Hope you had some fun making these cute little bookmarks with me. Bye from Aaliyah J. Take care, best you can.